Hey everybody, my name is John Fisher. Welcome to SalesLeads.tv. So um, I'm going to update the actual website and I'm going to have a little conversation with you guys and uh, let you know the state of affairs of what's happening in this, uh, in this business right now. There's three big things that are happening that you need to be aware of. You know, back in the old days, people would call up and say, uh, uh, John, there's a bunch of disconnects, blah, 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 blah. You know, or they would say, uh, you know, uh, these guys are hammered. They're getting a thousand phone calls a day. It was always bull shit. I mean, it happens sometimes with people. And, and once in a while, I will get a, a list that somebody sells to me and they sold to 10 other guys. So I'm not saying it's not always wrong. But the bottom line is that now, 2022, September, we're having some issues here that you should all be aware of. So I'm hoping by giving you this information, I'll educate you on what's going on, what to do, what not to do. So number one, you've got missed call. If you've got an iPhone, just like this one here, it has a feature on it. And that feature is the missed call feature. And it's a you can turn it on, and unfortunately, almost everybody has migrated from their hard landlines to cell phones. And I don't know what percentage of people have cell phones, but a big percentage of what I sell you, 50, 60% is an iPhone and that missed call is deadly because it doesn't do anything it doesn't ring it goes straight to your voicemail and uh, and that's it and if you're dialing people and trying to pitch them on a deal and they see missed call they know missed call means that that guy is not on my uh, on my contact list so he's probably a scammer or he's probably a telemarketer or he's probably a guy that's trying to sell me something so you know, if you wonder why half the, the calls you're making aren't going through, there's a one problem. Problem number two, the telecoms are taking a look at how many phone calls you're making from that particular line. And there's a magic number. We don't know what it is. But they're taking your caller ID, taking it off, and putting suspected spam. So imagine you're on the phone all day long dialing people, wondering why you're not getting And these aren't excuses. This is real shit going on here, okay? And they're wondering, like, how come no one's picking up the phone? You know, if your caller ID is suspected spam, you're not going to get any phone calls. So you got to keep track in the morning before you start dialing numbers. I, I highly recommend that you call somebody with a cell phone and say, hey, how am I coming up on your caller ID? Number three, which is something I just discovered last week, a lot of you guys are clever. Oh, yeah, we've got this program that finds out where you are where your area code is and and the call looks like it's coming from your area code that way they'll pick up the phone well let me tell you as a consumer they use in Boca Raton they use the same prefix as one of my lines that that rolled into my my cell phone it's a 561-981 and I'm just telling you every time I see that 981 I don't even and believe me I got 50 websites so I pick up almost every call that comes in but if it says Five eight uh, 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 five six one nine eight one. I don't pick up the call. If I see Bell Glade, unless it's a sugarcane field, give me a call trying to buy some leads. You know, or Pahokee. I mean, they take my area code and they do like a fifty mile radius around it and start picking off the area codes and the prefixes to fool me into thinking that it's an important phone call and I should pick it up. So, guys, that program is so two thousand and eighteen that everybody's hip and if you're wondering why no one's picking up the phone you gotta stop using that dirty program because it's just dead it doesn't work anymore you're not being clever all you're doing is screwing yourself with that stupid ass program it may have worked in the beginning but it ain't working now so remember number one miss call there's nothing we can do about it you gotta buy more leads I'm sorry what else can you do I can't identify them number two <coughs> make sure to check your caller ID and make sure that caller ID is saying your phone number, not saying suspected spam. And number three, if you got that stupid ass program that changes the, first of all, it's illegal. I mean, why would you do something like that? I mean, that's definitely going to put you in, FTC will bust your ass if they find out you're using something like that. So get rid of that stupid ass program and just dial through and put your caller ID who the hell you are, you know, and, and just make it right. I mean, these guys are sophisticated. If you buy buying leads from me, and he's a credit. He's not a fool. He's sophisticated. He's a pretty sharp guy. So stop doing that program. And, you know, let's hope that you're going to get much, much better connects. But I'm just telling you, realistically, I'm not going to bullshit you. It's tougher and tougher and tougher. I'm glad I'm not on the phone. I mean, I'm on the phone. But luckily, I've got 
32 years. I got a book that calls me all the time, and I'm having, I'm doing some good numbers. You know, not that I have too much competition left, but the bottom line is, guys, it is getting tougher. I acknowledge that. You know, I've dropped my prices from a dollar down to 50 cents. You know, I do as many specials as possible to, you know, to ease the pain. But it is what it is. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. 561-239-0364. Have a beautiful day and God bless.